Yeah, hey guys. So today we're going to look at uh, how to stacking the benefits, urgency offers, and over and offering overwhelming value on your directory. Now, this applies to selling featured listings. This is something that comes up all the time. People struggle with how to present uh, an offer that is so appealing to your members or to your ideal audience that you get people to sign up. So here is what we sent out on a small directory last night. I'm providing screenshots. I will also give the letter itself to those of you who want it. Some of this is blurred out for confidentiality purposes, obviously, uh, both the site and we have some individual names who we included in this email to the overall community. So folks could see how some individual members were doing uh, while utilizing these added benefits. All right, so here is the letter. Basically, it's a save 80% or $500 for the year. It's a $99 for 12 months instead of the 59 per month uh, or less than $10 a month. All right, so, you know, as you can see, let's scroll down actually, because this is where the letter, this is the top of the email. So feature listing coupon code yearly expires tomorrow, July 27th, which is today. Uh, and here I just basically list what they're going to get uh, when they sign up for a yearly featured listing using this yearly coupon, which is a once a year uh, offer. So they're literally going to get 10 months for free. They're going to pay $99 for the year. Uh, rather than $59 per month. Now, one thing that's really important that I've learned the hard way is you have to go through this process and explain to people not only what they're getting, but why they're getting it, why they should care, and how it works. So one of the things that I've learned, and again, this is through much failed experience, is that if you don't articulate that well you don't basically say to people here's what the feature is here's how it works and why you should care people just don't get it they don't understand like what you're offering them and it's only through re repetition and really kind of reminding people over and over again why each one of these offers is a virtue that ought to matter to their brand, to their business, to their blog, to their books, whatever it is that they're selling. It just, it, it only sinks in if you just keep repeating it. So you'll notice that this, you know, this email has a lot of that. Respond to reviews, how it works. Get notified when someone leaves a review. Question, comment or question on your profile and leave a verified response. Why? Because it increases trust, shows our readers you care about clients and their concern, and is the absolute easiest way to turn negative or questionable comments into an opportunity to communicate with clarity and integrity. Show up at the top of search results. Well, guess what? That should be obvious, right? Sometimes it's not. So how it works. Get priority of place in user queries. Top of your category, randomize with other featured members. Again, I even described how that piece works because I didn't want the folks to go and search for themselves and then find that they weren't number one, but that they were going to be randomized with other featured members because that's how this directory works in terms of the technology. It's the vantage theme and that's how it does it. So I have no control over that. Featured members stand out in search results. Why? Because our featured members get 400% more clicks than non-featured members. Your profile will rank higher, be categorized as featured. And then I even spelled out that that category, which we call now across multiple directories, our choice rather than featured is the number one category that people in the public tend to browse regardless of what brought them to the community in the first place. All right, so new member of the day, how it works, and blah, 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 blah. All right, so there's a lot more of this. Okay, so and I, I only included, it's a long email, so I only included two of the three screenshots. And again, oh, and this is what I pointed out in the, um, 
in the blog post below, if you come to my blog and read this, what we all, we got a really good response on this, some really good conversions in the last day, about three X the normal responses. But I also, as I mentioned below, I realized this was in the screenshot. Um, you'll see here, uh, let me see. You'll see here that I wrote one interesting note that I didn't expect. We also got three X the unsubscribes on this email than usual. Not a huge number, but pretty surprising. And then I continue, I have a pretty good idea uh, why I made a few jokes in the email, you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay, here are the jokes. Well, here's one of them. And I think this is probably why people unsubscribed at a higher rate than normal. I'm basically trying to articulate or communicate the value and using an analog. In this case, I'm saying it's one eighth the cost of a Trump stake, which isn't a real thing, by the way, but this is. Well, you know what? That was probably a mistake. I'm prone to making sort of Trump jokes and that sort of, you know, kind of goofiness. And probably some people didn't appreciate that. And that's why I guess more people than usual unsubscribed. And it wasn't a ton, but it might have been five people, which is unusually high for an email that I'll send for any, you know, uh, community. Um, it also could have been that there was just a lot of salesiness in this relative to what I typically send, which is much softer and much more about them rather than about asking them to buy something. So that could be that too. I made another joke somewhere in here as well that, I don't think it's covered in these screenshots, you know, that could have added to it. I don't know. Maybe people just think I'm um, a jerk off. So, you know, they decide to unsubscribe. All right. The other thing that I did was I communicated, um, you know, I posted a screenshot, which isn't in this email of the community and of the actual figures. So I actually posted the traffic numbers and the amount of clicks on the first trial day, which was last week, that we ran this new offer for members who were already signed up for this. So on one day, we sold 20, one of our members sold 29 books just by dint of the member of the day offer that we had. So she had a book offer as part of her member of the day thing, and that sold 29 books. Uh, they were inexpensive books. It was only a couple dollars, but that was more, she said, 29 times more books than she had sold on her own blog in the last month. We also had 373 outgoing clicks, which I transparently, you know, showed on the, on the analytics. So people could see that out of our traffic, 373 of our public readers were actually clicking on their profiles and visiting their sites by virtue of their being on or part of our community. So they're seeing that this is not like, you know, we're just hoarding traffic. We're actually distributing that traffic back to our members. And I also showed that 300 of those went to the members that are marked as featured, which is about 80%, give or take. I didn't do the math, but it's somewhere in that neighborhood. All right. So again, if you come to my blog, I know some of you will be watching this on YouTube, but you will actually have recorded uh, some more explanatory um, kind of you know dimension, depth, and detail as to why some of this stuff was done this way. Again, there's still a few more hours left in this. I could still get more unsubscribes, which is possible, but I also still could get more uh, conversions, which has already been really, really uh, good. And I expected it to be good because, you know, 99 bucks, it, actually 99 cents, it wasn't even included. It's just $99. But, um, you know, it's just a good value. I mean, people who are have been looking at our directory or have been on the directory but haven't been featured, you know, I mean, for eight bucks on average a month to get all the stuff that we gave them, as part and parcel of this. I mean, we did an interview or I'm offering an interview, uh, you know, using this new cool app that, that it's called anchor.fm that will send them a transcription of the interview. And there's just, we have all these different plugins that we're using that are going to just offer more value to them. So anyway, for those of you who struggle with the email marketing part of this, the relationship building piece, um, and again, this was the top of the email. I actually posted these on the blog in reverse order. This was the middle, or actually the, the end. 
or part of the end. It was towards the end. There's another piece of this that I didn't capture. All right, so you can also listen to this here. This is about another five minutes worth of, of you know, some extra details as to what we did and why. And I read some more of the letter itself. And if this helps, I hope that you can use it. And if you'd like to work with us, we have a small but uh, prolific team of content marketers. We have outsourced agents. We have people who are building directories now for, for clients. So these are things that you want to do. We're here. I'm here. I'm happy to work with you directly. This is my passion. Um, and I you know, would love to connect with any of you who are on the fence and are just looking to take that next step. All right. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.